Hey guys, it's David. It is uh, Thursday, March 30th, 2023, and uh, I just wanted to uh, hop on here and give you all a quick update. Uh, much has changed since my last post. Um, on my last post, I shared with you uh, that the MRI uh, showed that the tumor was gone and that was only half of the test the 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 other half was uh, the endoscopy that I that I underwent on uh, uh, Friday uh, of that week and um, that revealed that there is still tumor there and which makes uh, I really don't have a choice in the matter <laughs> um, I, the surgery is is uh, unavoidable so I'm gonna have to have this removed and uh, so we met with the surgeon this week and uh, found out that um, he's gonna kind of, kind of fast track me on this uh, and move me up to the front of the line here on the surgery, uh, which is actually going to be, I'm, I'm having a small procedure done tomorrow. Uh, it's actually to put in a filter in my main artery coming up through my legs, um, a filter that would, um, stop any blood clots from my that, that might travel uh, or form and um, so that's just kind of a safety precaution that I have to do tomorrow and then the surgery will be on Monday and so um, from the beginning I've asked God and uh, and spoken in faith that this cancer would be removed from my body and it looks like this is the the route that uh, is going to take to be able to do that and so um, it, it is a lengthy surgery uh, and a lengthy recovery, two to three months, they said to, uh, to recover fully from this. And, uh, so I've been really hoping and praying that I'd be able to avoid the surgery, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen. So, um, I just wanted to, uh, to hop on here because that surgery will happen on Monday. Um, so, um, please keep me in prayer. I really appreciate it. Uh, just pray just as though, uh, just, just like, God has shielded me from a lot of the bad side effects from the medication. I just pray that this will be a, um, a smooth recovery and uh, not much pain. And, uh, and uh, I appreciate your prayers through all of this. Um, uh, that's the latest, and um, that's what we're, uh, we're looking at. So, uh, like I said, I really appreciate your prayers. Uh, those of you who have reached out to me, I, I really appreciate it um, uh, just to encourage me and uh, to uh, try to calm me. Because <laughs> uh, if I told you that I was not a little anxious about this surgery, I, I'd be lying. Um, so uh, please, again, keep me in your prayers. Uh, my doctor's name is Dr. Aston, and um, uh, I just pray that you will uh, pray for him and his team on Monday, uh, Lord, that, that, uh, that, that the Lord would just, um, uh, guide his hands and, and give him wisdom and knowledge, um, on exactly what he's doing. And, and, uh, we're, we're trusting God, uh, and putting it in his hands. That's all we, all we know to do. Um, but thank you for praying, uh, for this surgery coming up. Pray that God will, um, not just calm the sea, but he'll that he'll calm me <laughs> through this. Um, that's the challenge, and uh, I, I really appreciate uh, your prayers. Uh, thank you for those of you who are uh, and have supported us financially. I, I can't can't thank you enough. This uh, this adds a little more time to my recovery um, and inability to work, and so that's it's always a concern as well. So um, again, thank you for your prayers. Um, we love each and every one of you, and uh, we cannot thank you enough for uh, supporting us, standing with us. And I still believe uh, that God is going to uh, allow me to hold a, uh, a no evidence of disease report in my future. Um, and uh, that's what we're trusting in and, and uh, believing for. And uh, we thank you for, for all of your support and all your prayers. We love you guys.